Are you looking to develop applications on stacks with much lower latency and higher throughput? Are you interested to see what that app would even look like? Look no further as I'll be demonstrating Subnets, the layer two scaling solution for stacks today. I'm Max Efremov, developer advocate at Hero, the dev tooling company for Stacks. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to hear about more product releases and updates from Hero. Let's dive on in. To motivate our understanding of subnets, Hero created an example application called Gallery Parfait. It's an NFT marketplace that exists on our subnet. The subnet that we're going to be interacting with through this video is the one that comes as part of Clarinet Integrate. Clarinet Integrate is the local development environment that has a local devnet that emulates the stack's main chain. And the latest release of Clarinet also comes with a subnet node that is running a subnet. This application, uh, Gallery Parfait, has a couple of smart contracts already published to that subnet. We're going to be interacting with it by logging in, depositing STX to the subnet, and then minting some NFTs, listing them for sale, uh, buying them, transferring them, and then ultimately withdrawing NFTs back to our main chain. So with that, let's dive in and get a taste of the subnet, faster blocks, higher throughput, and lower latency capacities. The first thing that I'm going to do is log in with my Hero wallet. And I'm going to be taken to the logged in portion of the application. And you'll see a couple of things immediately jump out at us. There's the option to mint a parfait. Uh, that's the NFT collection that we'll be um, using today. Um, there's also a set of instructions, so you don't have to remember uh, everything it is that I say here. And you'll see at the very top uh, links for a marketplace, a list of my NFTs, and then also this manage STX button. And the first thing that we have to do is deposit STX into our subnet. Now that is something that will eventually be supported in wallet, but for now it's going to be done on this page here. Uh, again, with some instructions. And let's go ahead and deposit just some amount of STX, uh, and we will be shown a DevNet transaction. So this is an L1 transaction. When we deposit STX into a subnet, what we're doing is sending it into the interface contract that exists on the L1, and that contract holds that STX in escrow. And then the subnet is pointing to that contract and reading it for these kinds of deposits and then crediting our account with however much STX it is we deposited. So if I were to go to our Explorer, um, this is for the DevNet uh, local Explorer. And sure enough, I see a confirmed transaction that STX has already been deposited. Wonderful. So let's go back to our uh, Gallery Parfait application, the first thing I want to do is mint a Parfait. Now, I can't do this quite yet because I don't yet have a, um, if I were to go do this, in fact, let's see. Yeah, unable to broadcast the transaction. I have not added the subnet network to our wallet. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to this change network pane and add a network. I'm going to call it subnet and the name and key have to be the same. I'm going to add that network and voila. <clears throat> so when I now go to Minta Parfait, we'll see a subnet here that indicates the network that I'm using and uh, cost 10 STX to mint this transaction. I'm going to go ahead and run that. So we just broadcasted our first transaction to the subnet. Now, just like there is an explorer for, um, for the local devnet, there's also an explorer. I'm going to make a new page for this. Uh, there's also an explorer for our subnet. Now, I already added it, but you'll see here localhost 13999. That's the port that our subnet node is um, um, and I would indicate this is a subnet. But I already have that uh, connected. So now if I go to this um, confirmed or pending uh, panel, there we go. So I had to refresh it. So um, our account now, if I go back and I go to my NFTs, I should see uh, 
actually a bunch of NFTs. Before this uh, demonstration, I went ahead and minted a handful of them. So the last one that I minted was Parfait number six. So now that we have all of these NFTs, let's go ahead and um, list a couple of them. So I wanna list uh, Parfait number one because as uh, you know, the first of the collection, it'll collect a premium. So I'm gonna list it for 20 STX. So there's a transaction there. I'm gonna go back to my NFTs. For this one, I'm gonna list for 15 STX. Go ahead there. And then um, the last thing I'll do is, let me transfer um, one of these to, uh, I'm gonna just pick a, uh, an account of mine, account number three. So parfait number three, I'm gonna transfer to account number three that has this um, recipient address. Okay, so we just broadcast three transactions uh, on our subnet node from within the application. And if we go to the pending mempool, we'll see exactly that, three transactions. So the average block time on the subnet node is about 30 seconds. And that is our uh, base rate. Um, sub, uh, subnets will be a continuous uh, point of uh, development and production for Hero. So we'll expect those times to uh, fall even um, lower. And in fact, the test net um, is, has even faster block times than the local, um, local uh, uh, subnet that comes with Clarinet Integrate. Okay, so we're just gonna take a second and we're gonna go back here and we should see in our marketplace these parfaits listed. And sure enough, parfait number one is now listed. I want to now uh, simulate um, buying it and then withdrawing it. So I'm going to sign out and I'm going to connect as user number two who has already deposited STX. If I go here, you can see that I have quite a bit of STX already um, deposited to the subnet. So I want to buy this for 20 STX. So now account number two is going to be presented this confirmation. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm that transaction. Uh, if I were to take you to the subnet explorer, we should see exactly that uh, fulfill listing uh, transaction pending. Let me see, the confirmation has now been confirmed. So that means that as user number one, I'm sorry, user number two, uh, I now have this coveted uh, 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 first, uh, very first parfait from the collection. And last thing I wanna do is withdraw this NFT back to our main net. Now you'll see that this app actually breaks down ownership based upon network. So if I go here um, and I withdraw from our subnet to our testnet, which is actually um, whatever the main chain is, uh, for this local development environment, it is our devnet. Um, this app is gonna be live on the testnet, um, which currently block times on the uh, subnet that's on testnet, the public testnet, is uh, the metrics are about 15 seconds per block time. The uh, dev, the subnet that is local to Clarinet Integrate and your machine is averaging a little bit longer. So um, those are performance metrics that we monitor and we're constantly improving. There we go. Our pending withdrawal. Now this is a DevNet transaction that finalizes the withdrawal of that asset. And um, upon this confirmation, we will um, have this NFT back on the uh, main chain. And that should just take a second. If I go to the Explorer for our DevNet, this is our DevNet Explorer, I should see this confirmed withdrawal in a matter of moments. In fact, we do, there we go. So that concludes the NFT marketplace use case demonstration for subnets. We look forward to seeing all the different kinds of applications now made possible by these faster block times and higher transaction capacities that subnets enable. And remember, the subnet does not have to use the stack's consensus mechanism, which means that any kind of virtual machine is possible. So we look forward to not only different kinds of subnet applications, but many different kinds of subnets. 
Thank you. Uh, if you enjoyed watching or want to hear more about Heroes products, tools, and services, subscribe to the channel. I'm Max Efremov, Developer Advocate, and I'll see you next time.